today, I will going to show you how to make a calculator. First that I am going to do is to make the text field accept only numbers and period sign. Please check my channel for more programming videos. Please support my YouTube channel, don't forget to subscribe, thank you. Create a Java application and create a new form. Insert text box into the form and set your desired size and position. Change the variable name of the text field in order to identify the text field name easily in writing a code. We will now write a code by selecting ktype event. Right click the text field, select key. Select event and select select key type. First we need to set a condition to a user if they type a non-digit keys. If you see a notification error, just click it, and select the appropriate package to be imported or correction. There is a beep sound if the user type a non-digit keys. This is the function of get toolkit beep. Try to run the project to see the errors. Every time you write a code, you need to test it in order for you to easily find the errors. As you can see here, the text field only accept numbers and period sign, and if try to type non-digit keys it will not accept letters. Let's proceed to the next condition, the period sign, the text field should accept only one period to be used for decimal points.
As you observe here, the text field only accept one period. Now let's move on to the next condition. Add this condition in order to limit the length of characters in the text field. It's up to you whether you add it or not. Set the alignment of the text to right. To do this, add the code next to init components. This is the initialization of the components in running the project. Now, as you can see here, the alignment of the text is on the right already. I used this code for the preparation for adding negative sign because I limit the length of the characters in the text box. It's up to you if how many digits do you want to limit in the text field, just change the numbers in codes. Now let's go to the negative sign, go back to the sign mode, edit button for the negative and positive sign. First, get the numbers from the text field and convert to double data type. I use double for decimal numbers.
MY first condition is, if the number is greater than 0, the button will add the negative sign before the numbers. And if the number is less than zero, the button will remove the negative sign to make it a positive numbers. <laughs>